So you care about your health, right? At least to some rational extent, I hope. You probably know that monitoring what you eat, what you do and what you think are three key ingredients to stay healthy. What might severely undermine all your hard work and what most people forget about, including myself until recently, is air quality. It's weird that we are very intentional about what we eat and what we drink, unless it's a Friday night, of course, but almost never think about what we are breathing in. Meet Nick. He's a regular guy working from home and doing his best to stay healthy and fit, while maintaining a comfortable seal-style life. No, I'm not talking about those seals. This kind of seals is more like it. Controlling his diet, drinking enough water, going out to the gym, occasional walks outdoors. Despite all the hard work, Nick still feels like someone stole all the caffeine from his coffee. His productivity has plunged, persistent headaches and sleepiness haunt him along with a minor depression due to his inability to find a solution. Nick nearly cried when his medical tests, despite all the symptoms, came back normal. Luckily, his doctor knew the real reason behind Nick's issues – bad air quality. So he suggested Nick to relocate to Iceland. Wait, what? While moving to Iceland, known for its clean air, is certainly a solution, I suggest considering less drastic measures first. Monitoring your home or office air quality is a great first step. You need to identify the exact problem to solve it, right? So today I'm reviewing the ultimate, well-designed air quality monitor with high-quality sensors on board, smart home integration and a decent price tag. Queen Pink Air Quality Monitor Lite. That's exactly the one that helped Nick, by the way. Sensors and accuracy. The Queen Pink Air Monitor Lite is an indoor environment monitor with four sensors monitoring five key air quality parameters – temperature, humidity, PM2.5 and PM10 particles, as well as carbon dioxide levels. The sensor suite inside the monitor is pretty decent, with temperature and humidity measured by a sensor from a Swiss company Sense Erian. What was a really pleasant surprise for me – that uh, fine particles are measured by a laser sensor made by Plantower, and the most sought-after carbon dioxide index is measured by a Sense Air S8 from the Swedish brand of the same name. Both of these sensors are not cheap. It's great deal that we get both of these in a relatively low-priced unit. But what about their accuracy? Let's compare to Dyson. If this glorified fan at $900 does not show accurate results, then I don't know what does. I've set Dyson to a minimum speed and placed air monitor right where Dyson's sensor's intake grill is. This way both devices breathe the same air. And here's Xiaomi temperature and humidity monitor for comparison. I would say that Queen Pink is pretty accurate for the price, aside from the temperature indication. More on that later in the cons section of this video. Unboxing and design. There is nothing inside the box aside from the air monitor, USB-C cable and a manual in English and Chinese. Moreover, I'm not good at unboxings, so let's move on to the device design. Looking straight at the air monitor, it looks like an Apple product. Minimalistic design, high-quality matte plastic body, very pleasant to the touch. Device is quite small and it weighs only 143 grams. Front side houses a 3-inch monochrome OLED display with 160 by 128 resolution. Display borders are rather wide, but are visible only at certain angles thanks to OLED display ideal black output. On top of the display, there's a small LED indication which color corresponds to a particular air parameter level. Underneath, there's a Wi-Fi connection indicator, five navigation dots and battery levels. Current metric is shown in a large 3D stylized font. I do like it, but 
there's no way to change it to another one. One last thing display shows is, oddly enough, the name of the metric. On the bottom, AI monitor has rubber feet and QR code for Apple HomeKit, so don't accidentally trash that. Moving on to the back, there's an on-off switch, USB-C charging port and fan grill. Styling here is quite unique and more suitable for a YouTuber's backdrop rather than a hair monitor. You may be wondering about the fan noise and it's basically non-existent if you place the Queen Ping half a meter away or further. I have it placed at arm's length and can't hear any noise at all. Finally, we have this touch-sensitive strip on the top side of the device. It's easy to use and very responsive. I can't confirm that Queen Ping Air monitor light is based on the latest Apple M chip, but it's blazing fast. Just look at this. Zero stutters and no delays. Which is simply amazing. Jokes aside, it works exactly how you expect it to. I have this device for a couple of months now and experienced no lags or glitches. Battery life. Queen Ping Air Monitor Lite comes with an inbuilt battery that should last up to 7 hours. I ran a test and got 6 hours and a half, as it's an OLED display energy consumption varies based on how many pixels are light up and you probably can get closer to the declared battery life by displaying PM2.5 instead of CO2 like I did, so one or two digits instead of three or four. Honestly though, I can't imagine a use case for such a device outside of home or office space where it's much easier to hook up to a USB Type-C cable and simply forget about charging. App and Smart Home Integration There's a dedicated Queen Ping Plus app both for iOS and Android. It displays real-time data from the device, gathers 24 hours and 30 days statistics and provides some life-changing recommendations. I bet you had no idea that by using a humidifier you can solve the dry air issue or that you can actually use your AC for cooling. Incredible! A really useful thing the app can do is adjusting device settings. We have screensaver controls, power off timer while on battery, night mode, units and CO2 sensor calibration. If you're not good at opening all the windows for complete ventilation, I suggest switching auto calibration off and running manual one once in a couple of months. Otherwise, you might end up with wrong sensor readings. If you're into smart home ecosystems, Queen Ping Air Quality Monitor Lite can be used both in Mi Home and Apple HomeKit, so you can create automations based on sensors data. Cons. There are four major downsides. First, temperature sensor accuracy is OK until you hook up the charger, which is 99% of the time really, rendering temperature data mostly unusable. Second, OLED screen provides the wide viewing angles, great power efficiency and high contrast, but is an absolutely bizarre choice for a monitor like this. Thing is, OLEDs are subjected to burning while displaying static images. And that is exactly what the sensor display is doing. To counter that, Queen Ping included mandatory dynamic screensavers that might be a bit distracting. I would definitely prefer something like e-ink or a good old TFT screen. Third, only one parameter is shown at a time. Yes, it's possible to easily scroll between them or see all of them at once in the app, but here on the display you can choose only single one. Fourth, lastly, Queen Ping Air Quality Monitor Lite doesn't have a TVOC sensor, but other than that, it's a solid way to keep track of your room's air quality. Is this a good fit on a work desk or a waste of money? Let me know what you think in the comments.